Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy. I write magical realism and horror and thriller and all the other stuff in between and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Forgive the background. This is my background that I would use if I was actually streaming. I don't stream much anymore on and off here and there but um anyways that's what this is about today's video is going to be completely about notion I have decided to fall down the rabbit hole and do one of these notion tours I have been using notion for about six months now I've known about it but longer than that don't get me wrong I've just never actually took the time to fully set up a notion of my own and use it regularly like I have been so anyways totally not sponsored totally doing this in my own free will because I'm bored and I'm want to show off my notion I made it pretty I love it I want to show it off so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and switch screens anyways this is my notion this is my chaos compactor this is the home page of my chaos compactor um got Tayo from Black Bee up there just dancing away. Can't see his whole face, so that's okay. Uh, my monthly calendar, which I really, really love because the moment I put something in my Google calendar, whether on Google or on my phone, it shows up in here and I can remind it. And when I refresh my thing, it will show up again. It didn't show up, though. No. It will show up again. So there's that. This is the weather for the whole week. My little mood board over here. This is the um, quote that I've been living by most of my life. I'm not spoiled, just living the life to which I've become accustomed. Makes sense, right? Uh, so you go down a little bit more. This is more of a monthly routine and not so much a weekly routine. If I read a book, um, if I go, like, it's the beginning of April now, Monday, beginning of April. So if I were to go to the gym all three times this week, I'd click it off. If I call any friend or family member, if I text message them, I'll click it off. If I read, like, 50 pages in a book, I'll click it off. It's not so much completing a task that I did a task for this week. And this is all four weeks of the month. Um, journaling never gets clicked up. I don't know why I have it in there. I do have an actual daily habit tracker, but then again, I also have it in my planner, so it's kind of excessive to do it on Notion and do it on this, and yes, I am fully aware that I could make a weekly planner on Notion as well, and just completely forego this, but I like the analytical, analog version of taking writing things down and planning my week out and all that so I do the digital version because it's accessible because I could stare at it every single day whereas this will sometimes get tucked away but when I really need to plan a week out I like to do the analog version call me old-fashioned I don't know but I do have it there if I need it mostly it's just it's sticked up like this and then again the journal part that I never actually do I never journal I know the benefits of journaling, I just never actually do it. So anyways, that's that. This is the never ending story, my forever to-do list um, for my familia, family, whatever. I'm learning Spanish too, so things show up in Spanish or English, Korean, whatever. Just go with it. <clears throat> so this is the never ending to-do for this. I can take that. This is my writing books, editing, if I needed it, just do this, just duplicate it, and then, like, I know I need to get a book cover, or a Wendigo, which I already did, I got the book cover, I just haven't showed it off yet, so I flip it off like that, be done with it, I don't like this AI thing that they have going down here, I do anyways, I, I'm not against AI, I just don't know why it has to be everywhere. This is a completely different rant. I'm not getting into it. But anyways, 
So that's how easy that is. My monthly, my never ending story of to do lists and tasks that I had to go through. And this is a very simple page. Nothing too crazy over here. Um, monthly reflections. Again, something that I don't do, I probably should do. But if I did do them, it would just, this would pop down and word, phrase, describe the month, how it went, memorable moments, things I learned, things I want to improve. Again, it's things that I write in here sometimes, so, yeah. Anyways, I do have it here, though. I need to, maybe if I spruced it up a bit, but it's very plain right now, as you can see. Go back, refresh, still not there. Okay, anyways. And then over here, I have my list of recipes, my go-to recipes that I do just about every single week or recipes that I want to try. Mostly dinner options because lunch options around this house. Monday through Friday, lunch, I'm home by myself. There's no point in doing a huge lunch for anybody. I sometimes do a smaller one, but it's no point doing a huge lunch. And on the weekends, kids want to eat raviolis and lunchables so here we are no not a lot of lunch options lunch options i cannot talk la 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 but it's mostly dinner options and mostly for my instapot i do have an air fryer now i'm so happy about this air fryer i do have an air fryer now i need to get more recipes for that if you have recipes for an air fryer that you really really love please leave them for me in the comments i will forever appreciate it anyways moving on um, my library, I did spruce up my library a little bit. I made it a little bit more likable instead of just a list. These are books that I'm reading or I've finished, um, on my TBR list. I have them listed by genre, what I scored them, whether they're paperback, hardback, when I started them, when I finished them, who the publisher is, and the date they were published. That is the extent of my record keeping. I don't, but that's more than what I've done. And who that is, obviously. I have to put that in. I have to go look at that and put that in. That is the extent of my record keeping. I need to add a book now that I think about it. My brother talked me into reading a book, and I've even forgotten what it was called. Right, text him and find out, anyways. It's saved on my Amazon. That's the important part. Again, I have all this, my want to read, my recommended. I need to throw that up there. These are books that are out that I want to read and get my hands on and actually read. These are books that are yet to be released. I probably need to go through this list and see if there's any that's been released because I did this list back in January. But these are the list of books I want to read that haven't been released yet. And that's it. And then just pile my pictures, my stuff. So that's my library. That's how that's going. I'm um, going down the list, I guess. My what to watch. These are movies that I am watching. These are ones that I want to watch that I haven't watched yet. Menu. Megan. Um, sometimes Netflix or HBO doesn't pop up a picture. And so I just kind of do this over here. The underneath title of it. Shameless. I guess eventually we're going to get to that. I'm watching Tomorrow, Control Z, Last of Us. We are going to go to watch the Mario movie later this week, so I could probably throw that in there if I wanted to. And then these are movies that I've watched. A lot of TV shows. More TV shows than movies, to be fair. And then, let's see here. Oh, let's go back to the Chaos Compactor. Go back to the screen, the library, the what to watch. Next is my yearly goals, which I went over back in January. This is just where I could list them off. Uh, travel plans. These are places that we want to travel to someday. And if they're in the planning stage, that means we've talked about it. We looked at prices. We've got um, ideas for locations that we want to visit and stuff like that. I could probably add all that in here too if I really wanted to. But for now... This is the planning. It's in the planning stage. Um, go back. And then local eateries is places. Um, I'm not going to click on it because it 
shows my general location of where I am. So the local eateries is basically just restaurants that we want in the area that we want to go try out. We've heard of them. They got good reviews. If we are ever sitting there going, what do you want to eat? We can look that up and be like, well, we haven't tried this place yet and go there. As my second and then my archive is where all of this goes thrown in there. So that is all of that in a nutshell. Very, very simple, not very long. In out. Yada yada yada. My second favorite fa favorite page on this whole entire thing is my language hub. Now this I did um I didn't create this myself. I got it from one of the um, Notion share pages. I will, if I can find it, I will link it. I will look it up in it again. If I can find it, I will link it in the description below. But this is my language hub. This is where I catalog everything I learn, everything, my weekly hours, my monthly hours, yada, 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 what I do. So what I like about this is you have a little guide here. I don't play with the revisions. I have played with the miscellaneous writing. And this is all things I have. This I haven't typed up. These are sentences and words that I've typed up. I sat there one day and attempted to poorly explain how a plot of a book that I was reading in Korean. I posted it over on Hello Talk. They corrected me. That was fun. That was interesting. Um, this is me explaining my job in Korean. Uh, what I, where I work and what I do. So that's cool. Not exactly where I work, by the way. This simply says, I work weekends at a nursing home. And then this bottom says, I give the pills. That's all that says, if you're wondering. <laughs> so, and then this was me practicing Spanish. And I need to, I need to, um, practice more Spanish. Because I, well, you'll see here in a minute. Get out of here. Back to my language hub. Uh, so... This pops up and this has all of my current goal, where I'm at right now. I can log what I'm capable of doing right now. This has the resources that I use, the books that I'm reading, more re webtoons and stuff if I really wanted to. This has video solitary wusiak. If Even if you are not learning Korean. You need to check out the Solitary Wusiak over on YouTube. His videos. All he does he does like a mixture of um cleaning vlogs and travel vlogs. It's like a mixture of those and um yeah, travel vlogs. He goes to like different eateries and stuff around the area and he'll go hike up in the mountains, show the like the best views and Y'all really need to check out his channel, Solitary Wusiak. He does English subtitles. He doesn't do a whole lot of talking. He does English subtitles so you can sit there and figure out what's going on. Seriously, I'm plugging him. His videos are the best. They are just so calming and chill and relaxed. Like the other day, I watched him. What did he do? He was he was cleaning. <laughs> he was just cleaning his apartment. And my husband's like, really? And I'm like, it's calming. I can't explain this. It's calming. Check him out. Absolutely fantastic vlogger. Uh, translation Papago. These are my list of words in Korean. I have most of these memorized. If I've seen a word a thousand times and I still can't seem to plug it into my brain, I will plug it in here and then I, that way I have to stare at it. If I can quickly find it, I can stare at it. Go back to... Uh, Hold up. I broke it. This is the, um, I got bored one night, and, yeah, this is a completely different list. Anyways, it is what it is. So, anyways, yeah, 
that's that. These are the grammar rules that I popped out. Somebody else made this as well. I completely stole this. I'm sorry. And I add to it. So these are just like grammar rules. Speaking practice, I have not added any new speaking practice. I said I was going to get on italki and hire a tutor, and I haven't done it. Um, limiting comprehension, this is another YouTube channel. He does, he plays video games in Korean, and then he'll sit there and like, like the unpacking game. I don't know if you heard of the unpacking game. It's pretty self-explanatory, but he unpacks an item, tells you what it is, tells you where he's putting it. And he does the same thing in games like Inside and stuff like that. So anyways, comprehensible input for learning. Same thing for the Spanish. Uh, Semi-fluent Spanish. Where I'm at, my resources, my books, vocabulary unit, no curse words this time. I behave most of the time. Um, grammar points, I go to, where's this page, all these, this I did do myself, I typed all this myself, this I did do all myself, I had to completely build my Spanish one up all by myself, so there's that, so in a the listening, dreaming Spanish, and I have other YouTube channels that I use as well, they're just not in here, so that's it. I only learn Korean and Spanish. Over here, I can click. This goes out of order every single time. I hate it. It gets on my nerves, but it is what it is. Like, and I have to reset it now anyways. So, these are the what I did. What I, Some days I managed to do both languages. Some days I only managed to do one language. Meh. It is what it is. See, this is the reset for it. I need to change that. It's not... Anyways, and then down here is the monthly breakdown of hours of time that I have spent learning each language. Like, for example, last Thursday I spent, I wanted to spend 60 minutes, my goal is to spend like 60 minutes each day practicing the language. I only got 20 minutes. Yeah, what it, it is what it is. And then some days I get further. 40 minutes, 60 minutes. I just, how many minutes I wanted to spend, how long I actually spent it, and what language. Though, so I need, like I said, this was a pre made thing, and they were learning Persian and Russian as well. I'm not learning, learning either of those. Portugal and Russian. I don't remember. They were learning two other languages. I'm not learning those languages. So I just kind of all that I don't use this it's here I don't use it but yeah so yeah that's my weekly that's my language hub for language learning and then I think that's it and then all of this for here for, and then my daily life my every other daily life thing that I want to get up to so anyways yes that is the video that is my Notion tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas if you're looking to build into Notion. Um, it's actually really easy to do. You can you, you could always do like I did the language hub and just still somebody else is gonna make it. Well not still. If they post it up for free on the web, then technically you're not stealing. You're just borrowing and re customizing it. So anyways. <clears throat> That is my Notion tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.